What if God has you in a weight loss battle to gain your attention or perhaps to gain your affection? I was really contemplating that this morning because that is exactly where the Lord had me when I was gasping for air, a hundred pounds overweight, sitting on the side of a mountain path that I wanted to enjoy climbing with my husband, and I couldn't go another step because of my chronic health issues. At that time, I was pre-diabetic, I was morbidly obese, a hundred pounds overweight, and I snored like a freight train, and I was soon to be diagnosed with obstructive sleep apnea, I started having painful ovarian cysts shortly after that trip, which led to a diagnosis of fatty liver disease, knowing that I was already pre-diabetic, metabolic syndrome, metabolic dysfunction, insulin resistant, although those terms weren't really bantered about too much. And had I known more about insulin resistance at the time, I may not have lived in being overweight or obese or eventually morbidly obese for 30 years. So here are my heart for you today, ladies. What if God has you in your weight loss battle to gain your attention? And even more importantly, to gain your affection. Some deep food for thought this morning. Ladies, I actually shared a post on Facebook that I want to share with you. I, I'm just going to read it because I don't want to miss anything. I should introduce myself. Hey, I am Coach Christine Tramp, Certified Christian Health and Wellness Coach. After losing a little over 100 pounds, God really put a passion in my heart for serving Christian women who have tried all the things, done all the things. Ladies, I get you. I have been there. I have done that. And I know what it feels like to be stuck in a weight loss battle. But I also know what it feels like to live in freedom and greater joy in weight loss victory. And so that is my heart for sharing with you. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to find of new videos. Uh, grab my free resource below. It's called Crush Your Cravings, the ultimate wellness guide for Christian women. And that's a great way for us to connect um, so you can hear more about how I can help you and support you. All right, so now the introductions are done. Let's get on with the rest of this video. I wrote on Facebook, when the Lord puts something heavy on your heart, you obediently share the story for that one woman who needs hope. So here it goes, all right? Not only was I physiologically addicted to sugars, and ladies, as a side note, when I say sugars, sugar, flour, grains, the sweet stuff, the starchy stuff, all right, all of those things that are impacting our blood sugar and our insulin hormone, keeping in mind that insulin, I was insulin resistant. Most of you here are insulin resistant, and insulin is our fat storing hormone. All right, anyhow, not only was I physiologically addicted to sugars, but my heart was beholden to my next food fix. And sugars are a powerful temptation and torture when the brain is involved. Cravings constantly crying out to be consoled. I really relate to this definition of gluttony by John Piper that I found today during my quiet time. Gluttony is defined as the enjoyment of food that has become untethered from contentment in God as the governing love of our life. Whew. Let me read that again. Gluttony is defined as the enjoyment of food that has become untethered from contentment in God as the governing love of our life. I'm a recovering glutton from decades of discontentment and a heart, broken heart, far from God for decades. But praise God, he restores, he renews, he redeems. Hallelujah. God has helped me crush those cravings and find contentment in the absence of the food I've laid down. My body healed, my mind quieted, and my soul is fully satisfied the tr by the truth in his word and the trust in my heart that he gives good things, the things I need. 
A diet high in carbs is not healthy for me. Poor food choices destroy health. And more often than not, lead to heartache. It hurts. I know. Is it hard? Yes. Sanctification is a difficult road, no matter what you're called to lay down. It requires surrender. I didn't write this, but perhaps the surrender, ladies, for those of you watching in my Weight Loss by Faith community today, of course it's going to require us to lay down the food that is destroying our health, but perhaps you're also facing a mountain of death, or you're living in grief, or you have a a sticky relationship that's causing you pain or you are experiencing church hurt and neglect. All of those things are hard. All of those things that we are things that we experience in life, right? Just those few things and so much more, right? Sanctification is a difficult road no matter what you're called to lay down. It requires surrender. It requires an emptying of self and deep spiritual growth. But I am living proof that the journey is worth every single effort. The fact that I haven't regained 100 pounds is a powerful testament to the power of God. I have been, and still am, dealing with a situation since I gained the weight loss victory. But I know, deep in my soul, where true satisfaction of cravings reside. And instead of running to the pantry, I run to his word or a song of worship. If you have any inclination that food is an idol in your life, or you are confused about gluttony, or want to ignore a commonly tolerated sin of gluttony, I want you to I want to give you hope. Hope for contentment in God. Hope for healing. Reversing chronic disease is within your grasp. And I want to ask you today, will you grab on? I'm here to listen and help. Read James 1, 22 through 25. Consider the freedom. I'm going to read it in a second, but the freedom sounds pretty amazing, right? This is the freed in living sugar freed. Do you want to join me? That was my Facebook post. And my heart is for the women who are ready to hear that message. So let me read James 1, 22 through 25. Uh, the Lord had me on this verse of scripture earlier this week and as a way to remember, as a way to remember. Because quite honestly, I've been going through some difficult months and feeling a little funky, feeling a little dry, feeling a little hunger and thirst for more of God in my life and being just stuck in this funk, I guess is the best way to, to describe it. Stuck in a funk, asking why questions, why is this happening, why me? I think I'm in a stage of grief. I have ambiguous grief. If you're not familiar with that, it is a, it's a loss, not a loss of a life, but it is a loss of what you imagined for someone's life. So I think I'm in the stage of ambiguous grief that's been going on for seven years now of anger. Like, why? Why is this happening and is it ever going to get better? So I've been dealing with a lot of this in the past month. In the meantime, trying to help you show up to the starting line because I know the importance of showing up at the starting line and continuing to move forward. Because if we stay stuck at the starting line, nothing's going to change. And you're going to continue in this weight loss battle and you're not going to let the Lord grab your attention Grab your affection if you're constantly feeding yourself with food, junk food, consoling yourself with something that's only going to make you feel worse, not better. But let me read James 1, um, 22 through 25. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. That's a pretty, pretty clear command. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like but the man who looks intently into the perfect law god's word gives freedom 
the law that gives freedom into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed by what he does. And that, I hope that passage just gives you some pause and gives you an explanation of this freedom that I'm talking about all the time here in this community, the freedom and the blessing and how important it is to stay connected with the word of God, with God, giving him your whole heart affectionately, giving him your whole heart. And when you step out into this sanctification journey that I wrote about in the Facebook post, day by day showing up it in God's word that's how you remember that's how you remember to do the thing that God has called you to do and as I always say when we show up God shows off and so that's what I'm inviting you to do that's what I've been inviting you to do this entire month of August in the summer sprint fit by faith theme show up get moving get your rear in gear somebody said invited me to be on their get your rear in gear podcast the other day and I'm excited about that opportunity and I was like yes that's what I did I got my rear in gear because God met me on the side of that mountain he had been waiting for me to turn my heart's affection to him for 30 long years and this is why I share ladies I don't want you to suffer another day I don't want you to struggle. I don't want you to suffer. There is a way out. And unfortunately for most of us, that requires laying down the foods that tantalize our tongues. Um, But what they're doing is they're giving your brain a very quick hit of dopamine. It's a reward, right? It's a reward. But like that quote about gluttony can remind us is that it can go too far. It can go too far. And perhaps the Lord has you in this weight loss battle to help you realize that, to help you recognize that you've gone too far. You've gone too far with your comfort food, which has led to some your insulin resistance, your diagnosis of prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, your diagnosis of high blood pressure, fatty liver disease like I had. How about your aches and pains? How about your lack of mobility? Maybe God is using all of those things to get your attention. But more importantly, your affection. Uh, Because living in contentment, in the joy of the Lord, there is nothing that tastes more tantalizing than truly returning to this every day, finding scripture that, that guides you, there, scripture is full of how God calls us to live our lives, right? It's a guidebook. It's an instruction manual for life, right? Basic instructions before I leave earth, right? Isn't that what Bible stands for, the acronym? Basic instructions before I leave earth. So I want you to dive in today, dig in today, and ask yourself, where are the scriptures, Lord, that you want to use for me to help me help guide my life when it calls to surrendering my health journey to you what does it look like what does it look like to live by faith and knowing that god can restore your life renew your mind and definitely redeem your spiritual walk i again i'm a living testament to the power of god to the power of god The things I've been through in the past seven years, I've been through an actual devastating courtroom trial where someone was constantly daily hammering on my life, questioning my integrity. And that is like something I would never wish on anybody, my worst enemy. (laughs) And then devastating results. And then living daily with, with the results of a car accident. One young girl, most likely texting on her phone, rear-ending my son at 70 miles per hour completely changed our lives. And when you wrestle with things like that day in and day out, our normal response is to run to food, right? Normal response is to run to something that will give us that quick fix. And again, this is not entirely your fault because you live in a food environment where food manufacturers are creating these foods to to satisfy your brain. (laughs) 
<laughs> they're hyper palatable and they want you running back for more. But I would really encourage you ladies today to dig deep and to ask yourself this question, what if God has me in this weight loss battle because he's trying to get my attention. He's trying to gain my affection. And the only true contentment comes from leaning in, listening to what God has for you and to stepping up and stepping out in obedience to what God's putting on your heart about your health. So hopefully that's some food for thought for you today. Thank you, Michelle. I see you. I don't know if you're still sticking with me live, but thank you for watching live. <sighs> Ladies, I, I like to keep things light, happy, joy, unicorns, rainbows, all those things, right? But there are some days that God just puts you on my heart in such a heavy way that it brings me to tears often because I don't want to see you living like this any longer. There's absolutely no reason to be having to be suffering when you can use food as medicine. You're welcome, Michelle. When you can use the right food choices as medicine. And unfortunately for many of us, that means that we are going to be sacrificing and we're going to be laying down the things that are making us sick. And why would you not want to do that? Let me hop over to Philippians. Hold on. Let's go over to Philippians 4 for a second. I'm speaking about contentment. So Paul is writing about contentment. And listen to this. He says, I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content. Whatever the circumstances, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. <laughs> he is content whether well-fed or hungry. He is content whether he gets a quick fix from a Snickers bar or whether he is satisfied with a whole and wholesome food from God's good smorgasbord. Ladies, I want to reassure you that I do not live in depravity. I do not live in despair about the fact that I have had to put sugar grains, flowers aside for my health. Unfortunately, the food environment that we live in caused my metabolic dysfunction. And now that I live in health and I make wise food choices for what goes in my mouth, I, I have learned to be content. And so maybe you can join me today in Philippians 4. I just read the section starting at verse 10 through 13. We're all familiar with verse 13, but what is really, what is Paul talking about here, right? He is, he's content in any circumstance. Whether it pains my heart a little bit to say no to the chocolate cake at a conference, I can be content. I can be completely content with that. And ladies, I promise you it gets easier. The, the further you are away from a life of living, feeding your body with foods that are destroying your health, the further you distance yourself from that, the easier it gets. I promise. It's like a daily habit. It's like a daily routine. It starts out as a discipline and before you know it, it becomes a lifestyle, which is what I'm asking you to step into. And I always say these small habits build and deliver big results. You can quote me on that. <laughs> All right. So this is, this is 20 minutes of sharing from my heart, hoping that it will inspire one woman. Every day I pray that one woman has been inspired. And you've seen, if you've been around this community for any time now, you know I offer all kinds of workshops, free workshops and opportunities to learn and glean and just try to work out in your mind, like, <laughs> how does she do this? <laughs> how does she do this? By the grace of God, I do this, right? By the grace of God, he met me on the side of that mountain so that I can stand on weight loss victory and share with you and encourage you. So stay tuned for future news. Most likely going to be Saturday morning coffee chats where you can ask me anything on the Saturdays that I'm available to serve you in that capacity. If this touched your heart in any way, shape, form, or manner, um, my calendar is always open for your free and complimentary weight loss breakthrough call. I do ask that you watch my masterclass before you attend a call so that you're fully aware of what my coaching philosophy is and how I can help you. 
And so if you want to replay for that masterclass, let me know in the comments. If you want to be bold today in the comments, I want you to just share that you need help and I will reach out with the next best step for you today. I have the most awesome, amazing, special bonus offer going on right now. It's the first time I've ever offered something this awesome and it's mostly involved with me spending extra time with you and helping you get through the holidays. I'm going to take you into the new year in the coaching program. So you're going to get, depending on when you enroll, you're going to get six, seven, eight extra weeks in the program with me, which means more group coaching, more monthly mindset sessions, more support in the private Facebook community, and just more of me linking arms with you and making sure that you are you're moving forward in the right direction. Okay, so let me just wrap up with the question I started with. If you, maybe God has you in this weight loss battle to get your attention or to gain your affection, that's even more important. Does he have your whole heart? Or are you struggling with the commonly tolerated sin of gluttony? Are you addicted to sugar? My sweet sister, I know all of this can be very confusing. I know. <laughs> I get it. I understand. And I just want to let you know that I, I feel you. I know right where you are. I know where you've been. And I know where you long to be. And I'm here to help. As a certified Christian health and wellness coach, I am here to help. I have an amazing program to support you called the Sugar Freed Me Weight Loss Solution Program. I enroll new clients all of the time. I enjoy seeing these women being set free. And I would hope that you will seriously consider, not my program, but I want you to seriously consider. I want you to seek the Lord's face. I want you to seek him and what he's calling you to do with your weight loss battle. There is no reason you have to continue struggling like this. You have scripture full of his word on how he calls us to conduct our lives. And then you also have a support system in women like me, women a woman like me who gets you, <laughs> who has done the actual thing, who has struggled through a weight loss battle for 30 years and who has been able to step into freedom and victory and live this way now for, I'm into my seventh year now. So I hope that we can connect. Make sure that you grab my free resource below in the comments, Crush Your Cravings, The Ultimate Wellness Guide for Christian Women. It is gonna help you begin wrapping your brain around what this looks like for your physical health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. And I just know that you will get a golden nugget out of that free resource to help move you in the right direction. I am praying for you. I pray for one woman every day. And maybe it's, maybe today it's you. All right, so I hope to connect soon. Thank you for watching. Again, be sure to hit subscribe and like on this video and please share it. Please share it with a friend or a sister that you think needs this encouragement in their life today. All right, bye for now.